Hey all, accessory time again. Hey, I've been struggling to try and find a phone mount for my bike. And uh, uh, some of them come with uh, special cases you put your phone in. Well, I don't happen to have uh, the current popular iPhone or the current popular Galaxy. And if you don't want either one of those, then you can't use some of the popular phone mounts. So after uh, uh, just looking around and trying, um, I'm going to try out the standard Harley-Davidson branded one. Um, it, this also comes with a separate mount, so you got to buy two pieces. I thought that was kind of, kind of. I don't know why that's that way. So, but one thing that so far I've been pleased with this part. If you heard that, this part instead of plastic, plastic is actually it's made out of some metal. So I'm liking that, and it looks like they're gifting you some. Uh, uh, mounting mounting screws here because obviously you're going to need I usually use a star fitting now this is back to an allen head so but now nah, so I have two different types in each side of the grip so some of them there's kind of a two-fold procedure and uh, you put your phone in the mount and then sometimes I, I think it's Roku you put kind of a security strap around there if you want additional assurance You've actually got a bottom base here for your phone to rest on, but here you actually have to screw down each side like this. So you're going to have two knobs on each side to tighten down evenly. And this, this one in particular fits my phone really well. So you can get it in there and secure it solid. And then as long as you tighten these down adequately, uh, it, it's in. So um, we're going to go ahead and get this uh, mounted and see how we do. Let's do something weird first. Let's look at the directions. Okay, I wrap some tape around this here before I take out these screws. I hate having to readjust this. So when I take these out, I don't want this to move or, or if it moves, I don't want it to move a lot because like I said, I hate having to readjust these things. At first, something that you might find kind of odd is that if you find this oval shaped washer, You're probably going to first think, oh my god, I got a defective washer, and that's actually not correct. This bottom part is oval for some reason, and it does show this uh, in the instructions. So if you see that, um, just don't go around and grab a new washer thinking you got something defective. Uh, these brackets go on first, and then this will mount as such with these guys going on there. And then the screw going in. Okay, I just ran across something interesting on installation, and since I didn't read the manual in detail, it probably mentions this in here. But one screw went right in, the other one didn't. It's like the threads caught. Well, that's because that's why they're giving you four. Two are for one type of thread, the other two for another. So instead of just taking one of them, seeing it doesn't screw in well, and being what a lot of dildos do is just force it, just grab the other screw. That way it'll go right in. <laughs> And I'm just using this little tool just to snug them up. And it's asking for uh, uh, 60 to 80, uh, I believe it was inch pounds torque spec. So I'll just snug it up. And my, since I put tape on here, this hasn't moved at all. Sometimes on these kind of uh, components, I go with the lower end of the torque spec. It gave you a range 60 to 80, uh, just because I want to be able to get this stuff loose later. And I don't want any chance of stripping stuff on other more critical components that just absolutely cannot come loose, like around your air box, danger of getting a bolt sucked in if it comes loose. Uh, then I go with maximum torque spec and possibly even a dot of the blue Loctite. So this was uh, inch pounds and this, feel that clipping right now. So I did that in both. So we're done, at least with this part. Somebody's going to invariably ask, doesn't that tape leave some sticky stuff around? Yes, it does. And I don't care because, as I said before, I hate adjusting these things. And there you go. So this is now installed. Um, 
My phone's a little bit wider, so this is probably encroaching this product's maximum width. And I did notice the upper part here, I started to already hit the max of rotating it, uh, rotating it upwards. Uh, so if you're a really tall person, really tall, then maybe this might not work for you if you needed to rotate it back a little bit more. Uh, but uh, God, don't wanna, geez, don't wanna be in that right now. Um, anyways, uh, uh, this is gonna work for my needs and uh, look forward to getting out on the road and uh, trying it out. Uh, also got this connected with my Bluetooth because I, so I can have it talk to me, have my phone talk to me in the helmet and then I can actually uh, you know, see, plan ahead and it's like, uh, oh my God, I don't wanna go in there. Anyways, hopefully that was helpful. Thanks, bye.